This is my DDJ 800, a pro level DJ controller. And on the other side of the spectrum, we have this, the smallest and cheapest controller made by Pioneer, the DDJ 200. It has its ups and downs, but don't let the size fool you. This thing is actually very capable. We're gonna talk about the price, features and capabilities, and whether or not you should buy it. And if you do end up deciding to buy it, the link in the description has you covered. So the first upside is the price. On Amazon, this thing is around 150 to 160, and considering just how expensive DJ gear can get, Bruh. the price is spot on and sits well within the Pioneer lineup of DJ controllers. So we have the Flex 10 and the DDJ 1000 at around $1,500. The DDJ 800 at 850. The Flex 6 at 650. The Flex 4 and the DDJ 400 at 299. And then we have this, the DDJ 200 at 150 spot on. Now let's talk about the features and the capabilities but first it's worth mentioning that this is not for you to take to a club or an event. It's more for people who want to practice and have fun at home. I mean I guess technically you can take it to an event but you and your audience are not going to have the best experience. Upside, you do not need a laptop to use it. This controller works perfectly with your phone as well. Pioneer has an app called We DJ that you can use with it and it gives you all the features that you need to mix. The downside is that everything that you need to do besides the actual mixing of the songs needs to be done on your phone. So if you want to change to the next song or use the pad effects or have a loop somewhere in your mix, then you need to physically touch your phone. Upside, it resembles the club standard Pioneer CDJ, so it makes it easy for you to transition once you're ready. And the downside is there's no audio output. So when you play a song, the sound actually comes from your phone or laptop. So you connect this end to your laptop or phone, this end to your speakers, and this one to your headphones. This means that the audio coming out will be mono, and that's the reason why this controller is mainly for home use. Upside, it unlocks Rekordbox, which is a software used by the more expensive DJ controllers and club standard Pioneer CDJs. It usually costs around 180 per year, and being able to unlock it using a $150 controller is just insane and i don't think there's a downside to this but yeah this is a bare bones controller that you can use to level up your skills and the size just makes it easy to travel with now should you buy this well if you're a beginner and you want to polish your skills and you don't have a budget for the bigger controllers then yeah buy it if you want to take up djing as a hobby and you have no intentions of going pro then yeah of course you can buy it but if you're already a dj and you don't have your own controller to practice at home then i suggest that you save up and buy at least the Flex 4 or DDJ 400 instead, those will give you a better experience. Hope you got some value from this video and if you did, please consider subscribing. Thank you for watching, catch you in the next one. Peace.